Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and welcome to the first video of the new series uh, to the new series that is uh, Cambridge IGCSE additional mathematics past year discussions so in, the, in this new series I will focus on discussing uh, how to answer certain selected question from the past year and I will not touch too deep about the concept because I believe first uh, these concepts have been taught by your teacher in this in the class uh, so and secondly knowing the concept is not enough you need to know how to utilize or how to manipulate or how to use of these concepts to answer question in the examinations so that is the purpose of this series all right so for this video for the first video i will discuss uh, selected questions selected related to chap the first chapter of the syllabus that is function okay so i select two question from i select one question okay i select one each uh, oh, sorry, I select two question. Each of the question is taken from uh, one is from 2018 June and the other one is from November 2019. All right, so we see the first one uh, which was taken from June 2018, paper 2 1, uh, question number five. The function f is defined by fx equals to 1 over 2x minus 5 for x greater than 2.5. So, you know already, I think, why we have x greater than 2.5 here. Here, because this is the domain. Why 2.5? Because to the function fx does not give value or does not exist when x is exactly equals to 2.5. Okay. So, we have... First part, find an expression for inverse of fx. Second, state the domain of fx. And third, uh, find an expression for f square x, giving your answer in the form of ax plus b over cx plus d, where a, b, c, and d are integers to be found. Okay, so you can pause this video and try to answer this question for yourself. And we'll see you later on. All right, let's get started. So, find an expression for f, f for inverse of fx. Okay, means that we need to find this question requires us to find inverse related to inverse inverse function. Okay, to answer inverse function, to answer inverse function, we can do it like this. So we start with let y equals fx. Let y equals fx. So we can change instead of fx. Now we have y equals to 1 over 2x minus 5. All right. So we have our target is now instead of we have y in terms of x, we need to change. We need to express x in terms of y. That is our target. So to change to 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 achieve that, we can use uh, algebra the algebra steps that we have learned. So, so I will skip some of that because our <laughs> our mark is two <laughs> two marks for this question. So I will skip certain parts. So two x y minus two x y minus five y equals to one, and then we have. 2xy equals 1 plus 
5y and then we need to express in terms of x uh, x in terms of y so we bring this 2 and y to the left so we divide each side with 2y so we have 1 plus 5y divided by 2y is this our final answer? no no don't leave your answer like this this is not our answer yet this is not, this is not our final answer yet here, when we achieve this, when we achieve x, in, when we achieve to express x in terms of y, what we need to do is first for the left hand side, change x into inverse f of x, and then right hand side, we have y change into x. Okay, so we have here is our final answer is inverse of fx equals to. 1 plus 5x over 2x so this is our answer for the first part so some of the students even for the Malaysians they tend to leave the answer like this no this is not acceptable this is not the answer that the, exa the examiners want you to give okay so you need to remember after you after you manage to express x in terms of y change uh, for the left hand side change x into f inverse of x uh, inverse f of x and then for the right, right hand side you change y into x any terms that consist of it contains y change to x all right so we have this answer second state the domain of inverse f of x Okay, so we need to know that this inverse, this function, this function uh, is a rational function. Is a rational function. And then what's more is we have x in the, in the denominator. We have x in the denominator. So we need to know at what, at what point or at what value of x this function does not exist or does not give value. So it's safe for us to say, sorry, 2x equals 0. So we let the denominator equal to 0. So we can find that x is 0. So we can say that this function, the domain of inverse f of x is x greater than 0. That's all for this part. Okay. And then we have the third and the last part of this question. We have find an expression for f square x giving your answer in the form ax plus b over cx plus d where a, b, c and d are integers to be found. Okay, so now this question related to composite function. Composite, sorry, composite function. Okay, so now we have f square of x. So f square of x means that f of f of x. That 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 was f square x means. Okay, so here uh, I can show you, I can, this part I can, I can show you a uh, short way, but I don't want to do that. I want to save it for the other, other question. So for this part, uh, please give, please uh, give your attention. Okay, for composite function, how we do it is anything that in the square bracket, we let fx equals to y means that we need to change instead of f, f of f of x we have here now is f of capital y sorry this one supposed to be capital y capital y okay so so now in terms of capital y we express 
in this form. So we have 1 over 2y, 2 capital Y, minus 5. Oh, I prefer to do it like this. 1 divided by 2 capital Y, divided by 5, minus 5. Okay. Until here, when you come to this part, to this point, substitute substitute y equals fx okay so now we substitute y with this this expression again so we have 1 divided by 2 of 2 multiply 1 over 2x minus 5 minus 5 Okay, so at, so in this part, I will, I will skip. So I will write it like this. So we have 1 divided by... Okay, I, maybe I will not skip. Because here we have this 5 is actually 5, 2x minus 5. So we have 2 in the front. So we have 2, multiple, 2 minus 10x. Uh, plus 25 so we have negative 10 X plus 27 okay so now we have and uh, the, num the numerator is the numerator is negative 10 X plus 27 over 2 X minus 5 since we divide one with a fraction so we change divide symbol into multiply and then we the multiplication and then we inverse the we inverse the location of uh, numerator and denominator so we have one multiply 2x minus 5 divide by 10x plus 27 so our final answer is 2x of minus 5 uh, over 10 negative 10x plus 27. So this is our final answer. Okay. So did you get uh, the same answer as mine? If you're not, uh, please check, please compare my solution to your solution. Where uh, did you get it wrong? Okay. Alright, so we go into the second question and the last example for this video. So this question is taken from the November 2019 paper 2, 3, uh, question 10. We have the following question the functions f and g are defined by the following fx is equals to ln of 3x plus 2 for x greater than negative 2 over 3 and gx is equals to e to the power of 2x minus 4 for x is any real number okay so we have three questions as usual first solve gf x gf of x equals to 5 Second, find inverse of fx. And then third, solve inverse of fx equals gx, g of x. So please pause this video and try to answer this question by yourself before we uh, meet again later on. Alright, so we back again. So we have this question we have two functions now f and g and they give the definitions of f and g as the following okay so for the first part solve gf of x equals 5 okay this thing means two part first you need to find the composite function here 
composite function and then the second when you have the expression of the composite function you need to find the value of x that which give you the value of 5 okay, but i think for this one i better i skip some long part so i just straight away do the composite function okay so we have okay for this one we have g uh, of f of x equals to 5 okay so you can refer again what I, what I did before here this part this part here okay so I will skip so I will give you this one so we have e 2 ln 3x plus 2 minus 4 equals to 5 and then and then I will I will so I can move this one negative 4 I can move this negative 4 to the left to the right and then also I can move this 2 in front of the lawn here because we have the following rule we have the following rule so we have uh, ln a to the power of b is equals to b ln a okay so you can do it uh, reversely this, the reverse also also true so we have so we have e to the power of ln 3x plus 2 squared equals 9 and then we have e to the power of ln of something so again we we refer to this to this rule where we have e of ln of a is equals to a here so e to the power of ln of a gives you a e and ln does not there anymore okay so we have here is um, sorry 3x plus 2 squared equals 9 okay what we can do here is what we can do here is <laughs> okay so now our question from composite function it turns into the question of quadratic quadratic equation okay so we solve it by quadratic, quadratic equation method Okay, so for this one, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, okay, maybe we can do it like this, okay, so we have this one, from this one, we can have either 3x plus 2 equals to positive 3, and then 3x plus 2 equals to negative 3. Because we have square here. Anything that, let's say I give you 4, it can be either 2 squared or negative 2 squared. So we have 2 and negative 2. That's why we consider two values here. So for the first one, we have 3x is equal to 5. And then we have x is equal to is equals 2. 5 over 3 5 over 3 eh sorry 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 I made a mistake here ok the plus 2 right plus 2 right so we have 3 1 and then x is 1 over 3 and then we have here second is 3x is negative 5 negative 5 so we have x is negative 5 over 3 okay okay so we can see that we have two questions we have two answers okay so how to resolve it we go back to the statement of the question we have here so we have here and then we have this condition this domain for x must be greater than negative 2 over 3 so which value falls behind negative 2 over 3 this part 
So we don't accept this. So we, we, we can say that we reject this answer. We reject this answer. So we have the answer is x equals to 1 over 3. Okay. So, so that's for the first question, for the first part. Second part, find inverse of fx. So we have, so we have here fx is <laughs> long, right? So, okay, fx is long. So, because here uh, also related to inverse function, so the strategy to solve this question is also same as what I have shown you before. So I will skip some of the part also, but I will maintain some of them. So let y equal, sorry. So let y equals to fx. So here we have y equals to ln 3x plus 2. I think if I'm not, okay, ln 3x plus 2. Okay. Okay. To eliminate ln in the left hand side, we use we use the same this one, this one, this this part, this part, this part, this. Means that if we put exponential to this side, we will have only three x plus two. Okay. But if we put exponential at the right hand side, we need we also need to put exponential at the left hand side. Okay. So we have here e to the power of y equals 3x plus 2 and then as you should express s express x in terms of y so we have x is e to the power of y minus 2 over 3 and that is not our final answer yet our final answer is f inverse of fx is equals to e to the power of x minus 2 over 3. Okay. And then we have the last part here. We have the last part. So solve inverse of fx equals to gx. So we read again both of them, the, the, the definitions. Okay. So we have here so we have here ex sorry ex minus 2 over 3 equals to gx so our gx now is e squared e, no no e to the power of 2x minus 4 okay what we can do here is okay <laughs> okay Okay, if I move this one, okay, so we have, so we have EX minus 2 equals to 3E to X minus 12. And then we I rearrange the terms here again. So we have 3E to X. Uh, minus e x okay minus e x sorry minus e x okay wait a minute minus e x and then plus 10 equals to 0 equals to 0 oh, yes okay okay if i if i want to rewrite this one again Can you see the pattern here? Can you see this pattern in this one? Can you see the pattern? Yes. If you see it, then it's exactly as you see it. This is a, a quadratic function. This guys as a, in this guys in terms of exponential. Quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Okay. So to solve this one, I prefer to do it like this. Okay. So now let's say let capital X is equals to EX. So we can rewrite this again as 3 capital X 
square minus x plus 10 equals to t equals to 0. Okay, you can choose whether you want to use calculator, <laughs> whether you want to use calculator, okay, or you want to use the formula straight away. The formula is, if I'm not mistaken, x is equals to negative b plus minus uh, square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so you find X, capital X. Okay, so our A is, okay, our A is 3. B is negative 1. And C is 10. So we have X, capital X is negative, negative 1. So we have 1 plus minus B square, that is, Negative 1 square or it is negative 1 minus 4 multiply 3 multiply 10. Okay, so 4 multiply 3 multiply 10. Okay, I think I made a mistake here. It's not positive 10. It's supposed to be negative 10. Okay, it's supposed to be negative 10. Sorry, I made a mistake again. So we have here negative 10 over 2a. Okay, so for this one, we can use calculator. We can use the calculator. Can use the calculator. Sorry, take time first. So we can find the first value is we if you if we use the plus if we use the plus here, so we have so we have one plus square root of square root of 1 minus 4 multiply 3 multiply negative 10 over 2a 2 multiply 3 so we have x1 is 2 and then x2 is ooh, negative 5 over 3 negative 5 over 3 ok but we remember this is not our final answer yet because we say that EX, X, capital X is EX. So substitute again. So we have here EX equals to 2. EX equals to 2. And then we have here EX is equals to 5 over 3 negative 5 over 3 alright so, so to eliminate the e here the, the e at the left hand side so we use ln but if we use ln at the left hand side we must also use ln at both sides so we have x is equals to ln 2 and x is equals to ln 5 over 3 Okay, ln 5 over 3, okay. But again, we need to check because here we have conditions here, this one. Uh, allow me to mark this one again. Okay, so we need to make sure that this term, this x, is not is satisfying this condition here. So we have for the second one it's easy because x must be any real number but for fx it cannot be less than 2 over 3 cannot be less than 2 over 3 so we have okay so we have negative 2 over 3 okay we have negative 0 0.6666 okay so so we cannot have answer that lies beyond that less than that 
Okay, so I think we check one by one. So 0 0.666, okay. Okay, so we have ln 2. Ln 2 is zero, positive 0 0.6. Okay, so this one is safe. But we have now ln negative 5 over 3. Which is <laughs> not good enough. <laughs> not good enough. Unfortunately, that is a complex number. So we reject this one. So we reject this one. So final answer is x equals to ln 2. Or if you want to do it, ln 0 0.6. Sorry, 9.3. Three significant figures is enough. Three significant figures is enough. Okay. All right. Do you have the same answers as me, as mine? If you don't, uh, please compare your solution with my solution. Where did you get wrong in that in your solution? Okay, so that's all for this to, for this video. I hope to see you again in the next video, uh, and I hope that I can find some time to do this video again. So inshallah, see you again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah and goodbye.